And Peyton, appreciate you uh, taking time out and joining us. Um, I wanted to ask you, you know, being a guy who's been around the program uh, for three years now, this is your third camp, Coach talked about how this team was a little bit more mature than the team last year. Can you see a difference uh, this week in practice coming off a loss, how guys handle it, how guys approach their work this week as opposed to the uh, previous year? Yeah. Like last year, we, as y'all know, we had a lot of young guys that went through what we went through last year. So all the guys that are playing have already been through it. So we knew that it was just back to the lab. Lab. We can't really, we can't really think about the loss too much because it's just going to affect how we play. And it's just on to the next uh, game, one and no mentality. Have you seen um, the guys more locked in coming off a loss as opposed to coming off the win over Wake Forest? Yeah, I would say guys are just ready to prove ourselves because, I mean, everyone saw we didn't really play that well last week. So we got a lot to make up for and to show people what we really can do. So I would say that guys are very locked in more so now than ever. Appreciate it, Peyton. Corey Smith. Uh, Peyton, for you, obviously, you missed this past weekend's game. Uh, you know, how tough was it to not be able to be out there, first of all? And, and do you feel like you could have made a difference in some of those plays that, that did go for long gains? Um, it was tough for me to watch. I didn't even uh, travel just because um, I, w I wasn't playing. So it was tough for me to watch because I knew that I could have been making plays. And it sucks just watching my brothers out there playing without me, you know, and I've been playing football all my life, so that's really like what I love to do. And not playing really sucked. And yeah, I could have, I could have, I think I could have helped a lot. You know, we could have schemed up some things, but it's just on to the next week now. I'm assuming that since you're on this, we haven't had it, you know, necessarily locked in at this point. But I'm assuming that you're planning to play this Saturday since you're on here with us. Yeah, I'm playing this Saturday. Okay, and how excited are you to be able to play against Pittsburgh, a team that you guys haven't seen in in a few years as well? Um, I'm very excited. You know, we don't really, like everyone knows, this is a weird schedule. We don't ever get to play this many ACC teams or really any AC teams from the other division. So it's, we get, we don't really get to see their type of style a lot. So it's kind of just like meat and potatoes, you know, line up and run the ball. Let's see who can hit. It's a little different than what we're used to, but we're excited about it. Thanks so much. Uh, Brett Friedlander. I know you weren't uh, there at the game on Saturday, Peyton, but watching the film and watching it on TV, uh, were the problems, were the mistakes that were being made the same as the ones against Wake Forest, or were they different? And if they're different, how concerning is that to you that each game has had something, you know, different go wrong? Um, well, each game's different. You know, there's different game, game plan each week, you know, different mistakes every week. But I think our problem is we just came out flat. You know, like I said, I wasn't there. So I, I wasn't on the sideline to feel the vibe. I, I couldn't really see the mistakes because I was watching it on TV. You know, I wasn't there. But it looked like we came out flat and just weren't ready to play. It's kind of against Wake Forest, we came out hot, which helped us a lot when we were making mistakes. But how, how difficult was it watching on TV when when Khalid went down and you know all your teammates were there kneeling and praying for him, but you were there by yourself, you know, with, without all those guys? Yeah, outside of uh, really tough for me because outside of football. You know, me and Khalid have a really great, great relationship. I look at him as a brother. You know, anything he needs, I'm there for him. Anything I need, he's there for me. So not knowing because I was so far away was really tough. You know, I just sent up a prayer for him. It's in God's hands at that point. But yeah, I was upset for him. And I'm just hoping that he makes a full recovery. Gibby. Yeah, Peyton, did you and Drake Thomas talk about going to school together? And if so, uh, now that it is happening, you know, how cool is that? Um, yeah, so me and Drake have known each other for quite some time now. And we've always talked about, you know, playing together. But I guess during the recruiting process, we never really bothered each other just because we, we both knew we were going to end up, end up where we end up, what we thought was best for each other. But now that I get to play with him, it's awesome. You know, he's a great player and pl a similar play style, you know, loves to play football, plays hard, hits hard. And it's just great playing with him. Did you both you guys were heavy heavily recruited in this area? Did did you kind of keep up with him in high school and know what he was doing down the road at Heritage and he likewise with you? Yeah, we were really good friends in high school. So like we always kept up with each other, looking at each other's stats and seeing who was doing better, you know, who was getting recruited where and things like that. We just kept up with each other. Yeah, I noticed too when you guys came on recruiting trips, you guys always kind of stood together on the sidelines at Carter Finley Stadium. Um 
what was that conversation like? And what was that like looking out over the stadium that you two sit standing there during recruiting trips? Um, well, it's weird looking back now. What was that, like three years ago? Yeah. You know, and it's kind of the same deal now. We're still really good friends, if not best friends, you know. And it's just crazy to see both of our dreams turn into reality. You could have gone anywhere and you chose NC State. I mean, uh, what was it about NC State that, that, that kind of sold you on the Wolfpack? Um, well, it's a different coaching staff now, but at the time, you know, I really had a great relationship with the coaches, but the fans here, the atmosphere and the ability to make it to the next level, uh, Coach Thunder and our strength staff does a great job of developing guys. And that's something that I needed coming out of high school because I was a skinnier guy. So. Thanks. Mike. And Appreciate I didn't really want to. Oh, yeah. Uh, Jonas. I, I love that you call this a, a meat and potato style t- style of game. What, what do you mean by that? And then uh, a follow-up question to that is, as a linebacker, like how, how pumped up do you get for a game where you know it's going to be physical they're going to run down here and run, run right at you? Um, I call it a meat and potatoes because it's just kind of like, you know, big on big. They're going to put a lot of linemen. We're going to stack the box, you know, see what the deal is. Just try to – they're going to try to run it. Pitt's a tough team. Everyone knows they're a tough team. We got a lot of tough guys on our side of the ball. I like to play tough. I like to hit hard. So I'm really excited about it. Sammy Benton. Yeah, Peyton, I I know you were a heck of a lacrosse player in high school. Um, First of all, do you miss that sport at all? And how did that help you develop as a football player? Um. Yeah, lacrosse was fun. It was just something I kind of did in high school because I've always played three sports. But, I mean, I don't know. I was never really into it that much. I was just good at it, I guess, because I was faster and bigger than most of the kids. But, I mean, I don't really miss it that much just because I'm so busy with football. And, like, football is everything now, if you get what I'm saying. I think I heard you had six goals in one game before. Is that right? Yeah. Yes, sir. (laughs) Yeah, that's pretty incredible. I just can't see Peyton as a lacrosse player. Um, does anybody else have anything? I don't see any other hands. All right, guys. Thank you. Thanks, Peyton. Thanks, thanks.